Hey guys, Conley McCaskill here. Thank you for stopping by today to watch this video on stretch marks. A few disclaimers, both of my children, I do have two girls, Branton is five and Baylor Ann is 19 months old. They are awake and running around and we also have my best friend's son, Reese, who is about four and a half. So they are running up and down the hallway um, out there and being crazy. Um, I do have the doors shut, <laughs> so you may even hear Baylor Ann banging on the door trying to get in, but I promise she is well taken care of by her sister and practically her brother. So if you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm happy to have you here. And if you are returning, I'm happy to have you here too. I love you guys so much and let's get right in. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, stretch marks. What is there to say about them? Whether you have stretch marks, you're afraid of getting them when you conceive um, a baby, whether you're afraid of getting them if you're a weightlifter like I am and you're aiming for growth in areas, um, even if you're a male watching this video and you've gained a substantial amount of weight or you've lost a substantial amount of weight, some people get stretch marks and some people don't. I guess I should have looked it up. I'll look it up right now. I have always heard that stretch marks are genetic and I have said that in the past before. If your mother had stretch marks, then you're more likely to have them too since genetics play a role. But if you have a lighter complexion, you will tend to develop pinkish stretch marks. Darker skinned women tend to get stretch marks that are lighter than their skin tone. Well, I appreciate that. I guess it's calling me a dark skinned woman. Thank you. But, so, you guys, I, I have stretch marks. I have had two children and I do not have any stretch marks on my stomach. I am very blessed in that department. My sister, we have the same mom, the same dad. She did not get stretch marks her first pregnancy, but she did her second and she actually gained less weight the second time around. I don't know if it was just how she carried her son or, or what. Um, so as far as the genetics thing, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's exactly true. Um, over my weight loss and fitness journey, you guys, when I got pregnant the first time, I was like 126 pounds. I had my first daughter at 144 pounds. What is that? Like 18 pounds I gained. Um, after that, I got down to a whopping 105 pounds. Since that, I have gained less than 30 pounds, but like 27 or 28 pounds. And that's like where I am now. When I got pregnant with my second child, I'm like 130 right now. When I was pregnant the second time, I was like 125 pounds. I shot all the way up to 164. And I got back down to 125 and I've been slowly gaining up a little bit because I'm trying to gain mass in my lower body. Um, that being said, and the reason I threw those numbers in there is to show you, there was about 60 pounds from my lowest to my highest there. So your skin, it, you know, it stretches and it goes back and it stretches and it goes back. And there's only so much elasticity in your skin. Now, I do not have stretch marks on my stomach, but under my belly button, I do have like a little line where I have loose skin that just kind of hangs there. You guys, I track macros. I'm starting online coaching for you guys. I work out five days a week, upwards an hour and a half to two hours, five days a week. I track my macros. Like I, and my youngest daughter is 19 months old and I'm not ashamed to have some loose skin. I'll be honest. I will be flat out honest. I bought one pieces last summer because I was like, 
And I don't even know why, but I was, I mean, I do know why, because I'm hardwired that way, and I think a lot of us are. But I was, like, not ashamed to have loose skin or anything, but, like, embarrassed. I felt like everybody was looking at me, and, like, that is so stupid. If you're this close to me that you can see some loose skin, and I'm not bragging, but beside my abs, like, if you're looking at loose belly skin and not my rock abs above it, then, like, forget you, okay? You know what I'm saying? Or even if you don't have abs, like, who cares? Like, why are you that close to me? Why are you looking at me like that? And I'm sure that's just me being, like, defensive. I'm pretty sure nobody cares. And if they do, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Set aside from that, my breasts are covered in stretch marks because I breastfed both of my children. And I did not breast to baby breastfeed. I pumped because my children did not latch and if you have ever seen a woman hook up to a breast pump girl girl boy whatever because my husband's seen you know my husband says that's the most unflattering way to look at a tit his words <laughs> just because your nipples go so far down in this tube they literally get to be about that wide they look like if you've ever seen a Vienna sausage. I mean, they are just like, I mean, it's incredible. Just the whole thing. But, and there's constant sucking. I mean, literally like it's suctioned to your boobs and it just pulls them back and forth, back and forth. And then when you're breastfeeding, I had like ease. My boobs were huge. Again, naturally, I've, I've talked about this in one of my other videos. I'm not sure which one, but I was born with like, I mean, I was born with no boobs, let's be real. But like at 12 years old, I hit puberty. I got double Ds. They were huge. Then over the years, as I've gained and lost weight, they've been like down, whatever. I'm normally a C. Well, I was like an E. I mean, my boobs were literally like up to here some days, like just engorged, huge boobies full of milk. Um, if anybody remembers from my Instagram, I posted several videos because I was like a milk cow i mean i carried my second child three months just on what was in my freezer when i stopped anyway beside the point constant filling up and releasing your skin is constantly stretching stretch marks y'all my boobs are sacks of skin literally and they're just they're covered in stretch marks and like i just read on here i i mean i'm white I'm, I can, so I don't know, but my, I do have lighter stretch marks. So while I didn't get tummy stretch marks from having my children, I did get breast stretch marks. Um, now I do have stretch marks on my bottom because that is my main focus as a weightlifter. It's growing my lower body while I have grown my legs and my back and my arms, none of that has stretch marks. I'm very blessed for that. But my butt has, I call them tiger stripes. It has, or that's what my husband called them, but we call them my tiger stripes. And they are lighter and you don't really notice them unless you're like up on my butt or in direct sunlight. Who cares? Um, several things I wanted to address on. Um, Almost everybody has stretch marks somewhere of some kind for some reason. And I am not knocking people on Instagram who doctor their pictures, whatever. A bunch of YouTubers that I follow doctor their Instagram pictures so that their Instagram looks a certain way. They'll buff out moles or add these fabulous lashes or like whatever. And then they come onto YouTube and you're like, you had none of those moles in your picture. Like what? But the one in specifically I'm talking about, her name is Shannon Rose. And she is wide open about it. She posted some doctor pictures and then some undoctor pictures and was like, just so you guys know. And she was in her post mommy body. I think her baby Snow is like four months old. So there was still some toning to be done to her abdomen, um, her mommy body, whatever. But she was wide open about it. Like, I doctored this picture. I don't always look like this. Nobody is this flawless. Like, whatever. And I was just like, girl, give me a high five. Because people need to hear that. All these... Look. My booty has grown tremendously, okay? 
but I can make my booty look three times bigger and better just from posing. Yes, I have abs. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm quite, like, I'm proud of my abs, okay? Because I work really hard. But, girl, as soon as I eat or have to poop or anything else, I bloat up like a puffer fish. Like, I mean, really. It's, don't ever underestimate a good pose. Don't ever underestimate good lighting. I have a zit on my forehead right now the size of a freaking unicorn horn, but you guys can't see it because I have this ring light right here to like blast out and brighten my complexion. It's like voodoo, you guys. It's like magic. Magic. But if you saw me in person, you'd be like, damn, girl. <laughs> Narwhal. Beside the point, nobody is perfect. Nobody has this glam airbrushed, beautiful skin, no stretch marks, but a fat ass and a slim waist and has had 12 kids and like breastfed all of them. And girl, if you are that person, like I'm, I'm happy for you. I can't relate, but like that's awesome, you know? Or if you have stretch marks from again, losing weight or gaining weight or Whatever it is that you've done, be proud of that. Be proud to have gone somewhere. I'm proud of the stretch marks on my boobs because I fed and kept alive both of my children. That's awesome. I shouldn't get like a crown or like a trophy or something because moms rule. If you have like stretch marks on your stomach, dude, you grew humans. That's awesome. If you've got stretch marks on your booty because you're growing that thing, girl, get it. If you have lost 100 pounds and you got some stretch marks, get it. If you started out at 100 pounds and now you above 40 and you got stretch marks, get it. Like whatever, like these skinny dudes that you see in the gym and then they're like, like later. You think they don't have stretch marks from gaining all that muscle or like whatever it is, gaining weight. Like if you're a bigger, heavier set human, whatever. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Those are part of your story. While they're not the most beautiful, flattering thing, why not? Who said that? I'm really happy to see in media now that they're bringing curvier models, thicker models. And while some people will argue and be like, skinny is not hot or fat is not hot or whatever. Okay. Skinny is not healthy and overweight is not healthy. Neither of them are healthy, but Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, okay? And if we look around outside of the four walls of our home, you know, not everybody is a cookie cutter shape. I cannot stand that. I can't stand that people just, just like, ew. <laughs> okay, this is an honest, true story about me. When I was pregnant the second time, y'all, I prayed for my second baby for months. I prayed. I sat in church and cried one day because I wanted another baby so bad. I begged God for, for this, for a baby. And I was lucky enough to conceive and it was wonderful and great. And y'all, I don't remember where we were getting ready to go, but I'm standing in my bathroom and I'm pregnant. I don't really remember how far along. I mean, I was round, but I wasn't like, well, Pam, yeah, well, and I said, well, Pam, the girl, I got a belly on me. Yes, I did, but I wasn't there yet. Side point, we were getting ready to go somewhere, bring it in like three at this point, and my husband walks in the bathroom, and I am just crying, and I'm pretty sure I'm naked. I might have a bra on, but my belly's out. And I'm just crying. And he's like, what in the world? You know, he knows how hormones are when you're pregnant. And y'all, I was like, I know it's so stupid, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have stretch marks. I was crying about one something, the, the inevitable. Like if you're gonna have them, you're gonna have them. If you're not, then you're not. I was crying because I had worked so hard to get this body that I wanted and you know I begged God to be pregnant and I'm the one that ate pizza and like gained 34 pounds like whatever don't care no shame there but like I'm, I'm sobbing and I'm like you know I've put raw shea butter on my belly every day like why is this happening to me I know it's so stupid but I'm so upset <sighs> like I mean it was 
just a show like I can't and he was just like you know I think he said he loved me and like who cares you know whatever if they're there they're there and then my mom caught wind that I was really upset about it and she was like Conley like you have been blessed with this beautiful gift like one you don't even know if you're gonna have them two like if you do who cares like so what you know it, it's proof that you've carried life that you've you know like stop and and while I knew all of this was true I was still so upset about it I was so just like constantly I would lift up my belly and like look to try to see if I was gonna have stretch marks like I remember right after I had her I like looked at my stomach and I didn't have any and I like had this sense of relief and since having her I've really grown in the lower body department and I have gotten stretch marks so it's like, why can I be proud of stretch marks on my butt, but not stretch marks on my stomach? Because I want a fat butt, not a fat belly. Like, how stupid is that? Like, saying it out loud just makes me want to, like, go throw up because I'm not that person. I don't want, ugh, ugh like, I, I hate that. So, the point of me telling you that is, like, it's not just you. If you are saddened by them... Or whatever I've talked about wanting to get a breast lift because I'm so self-conscious about the stretch marks on my boobs well guess what even with the breast lift they're still gonna be there like it's just it's a sad situation you guys like who cares you know honest like who cares if you are that like shallow that you're gonna be like you need to wear a one piece. You have stretch marks. And like, I'm that person to myself sometimes. Like, I'll wear a one piece because I'm like, I don't like the way my stomach looks in that or, you know, whatever. And I'm not going to be that person this summer because I do like one pieces. One pieces can be cute, especially like when the back's cut out or it shows the booty some or, you know, I... I like the ones I got. I thought they were hot. My husband's like, you look way too good to be wearing those. Why do you have that green shirt on? That's what he says. Get you a man or a woman or whatever. I mean, a man or a woman that loves you like that. That makes you feel like, who cares if I've got stretch marks? Who cares? Sorry, Reese's dad was calling me. Hold on. Sorry, that was my best friend's husband. He comes and gets Reese when he, losing hair, when he gets off work when Reese comes to play. Anyway, so the point of this video is just to talk about stretch bars. Most people have them, some people don't. If you don't, great. If you do, great. Be proud of them and understand that people get stretch marks for all different kind of reasons. Gaining weight, losing weight, having babies, breastfeeding, putting on muscle, losing muscle getting old like whatever do you boo love yourself and if you see a sister or a brother with stretch marks be like woo, 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 welcome to the club <laughs> i mean because the inevitable is the inevitable and y'all i've been that idiot and no offense because if you're an idiot too then great high five nice to meet you i can relate who cries about stretch marks it's not just you it's not just you but don't be that person be that person, or maybe shed a few tears and then be like, not gonna do it again. I cried that one time and I have not cried since. You know, oh, gross, excuse me. <laughs> be like, I've got stretch marks, what do you have? Great. Mm, mm, mm. My spawn is crying in this video. I really don't have anything else to say. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have stretch marks, let me know. We can be stretch mark sisters, okay? Oh, brother and sister, whatever. If you're a dude watching this, we can still be sisters. But thank you so much for stopping by. I love you so much. Bye.